What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be running you through how to troubleshoot your automatic choke on your small engine application, uh, more specifically for the GY6 engine. Um, if you're looking for the auto choke, it's going to be on the carburetor on the same side as your air fuel mixture screw. And if you're having trouble finding it, it's going to be the only component on your carburetor that has wires coming out of it. So the purpose of the auto choke is to change the air fuel mixture at engine startup. Uh, and it does this by heating up a small wax pellet capsule with a heater coil when the initial engine startup voltage is applied. Um, and as this wax pellet heats up, it expands, and this is going to slowly push a plunger out at the opposite end. Uh, and now when this plunger is fully extended, this is going to close off the enrichment circuit of the carburetor. And what that does is it stops adding extra fuel to the carburetor. So in reality, the choke kind of works the opposite of what you might think. So instead of choking off um, airflow, it's actually adding more fuel to your carburetor to help you start up. So how do we test if our auto choke is working? Well, the easiest and simplest way to do this is on the engine itself. So what you're gonna do is start and run the engine for at least five minutes to make sure everything is warm. Now the goal here is to be sure that the choke plunger is fully extended. Next, you're going to turn the engine off and as fast as you reasonably can, uh, remove the choke. So before doing this, make sure anything blocking your access has been removed. Now removing the choke is simple, as there should just be two Phillips head screws holding a U-clip that connects this to the carburetor. And once you have the still warm choke unit removed, measure how far the plunger is extended or simply just take a photo. Now you're going to need to wait for the choke to cool off. So wait about 20 minutes and measure the plunger again or compare it to your photo. You should be able to see that the plunger has retracted at least two millimeters. Now nominal measurements when the plunger is cold is about 19 millimeters from the choke face to the plunger tip. So if you do this test and the plunger extends and retracts as it should, then your engine issues are definitely not coming from the auto choke. Sorry. <laughs> now, if you determine your choke isn't working correctly, then let's dive a little deeper into some troubleshooting. Now, there's only two reasons for the choke to not be working properly. Either the choke itself is bad, or there's some problem with the power going to it. If you have a voltmeter or multimeter, Disconnect the choke harness and connect the two wires to your meter leads. Next, turn the engine on and you should get a reading of about 12 to 14 volts. On normal bikes, this should be an AC voltage uh, since a lot of time the choke is actually wired into something like the lighting or accessory circuit. But depending on your bike or vehicle, it could be running off a of DC power uh, since the choke will heat up with either AC or DC. Uh, so it's a good idea to go ahead and check both if you're not sure. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful, and I hope that you get your engine running smooth. Uh, if you do end up needing to replace your auto choke, I found that cheap replacements can be found online on eBay or even Amazon for about $15. Uh, and most of these chokes are going to be the same for engine size um, 50cc through 150cc for GY6 engines. So thanks for watching.